What is going on everybody? Clickwood here back again with another episode of Pink Slips here on Sunday afternoon. We are playing against BDGBB123. Got it. <laughs> and uh, he's got an 87 overall team. He was trolling me a little bit and said he had a 98 overall team when he accepted the invite. Or uh, when he was going to accept the invite. But uh, he has an 87 overall team. He said he's a no money spent team. So I, I commend him for that. Um, obviously, I've got the advantage as far as lineups go. We'll go in and actually see what his official lineup is. Uh, but let's see, guys, what he is going to be playing for today on Pink Slips. So, here it is. The Pink Slips Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what BDGBB123 is going to be playing for. We added some new stuff today as well, and he is going to be playing for 25,000 coins, but I am going to bump it up to 50,000 coins because I'm feeling in the good mood today. And also, he has an 80, 87 overall team, so uh, hopefully I can put a little bit more pressure on myself to win this game. So 50,000 coins is what he is going to be playing for today. Good luck again to BGG bb123 in this pink slips game but hopefully i'm able to walk out with the w all right so here is his lineup right now he has an 85 robert griffin the third at quarterback so i definitely obviously have to pay attention to the running ability of rg3 um this is a lower overall item but the mobility makes him a lot more difficult to defend than what that 85 overall would otherwise say uh 89 jamal charles 96 speed so a ton of speed in the backfield uh could be some read option going on here in this game at some point Julian Edelman, Vincent Jackson, obviously a really tall receiver. Josh Gordon's nice and big as well. Gosh, I haven't seen anybody use Josh Gordon. That's crazy. He must be like the base elite. Uh, Jordan Cameron, I used that card for quite some time. Jason Peters, um, decent offensive line, but not really anything spectacular. Obviously, he's got the, the 92 Reggie White playing at left end for him. Uh, Robert Quinn. Atari Poe. So this isn't a great overall lineup, but obviously it's scheme over team, guys. I mean, if he's a good player, he's going to be able to win this game. He also has free safety Calvin, which, as you guys know, is the golden ticket that I would make my number one golden ticket requirement, or uh, I guess uh, not requirement, just the number one thing that I'm asking for. If you guys have a golden ticket, please make a free safety Calvin, for the love of God. Let's, let's make this game fun. But anyways, that is his lineup, so let's get into the game, guys, and see what we can do in this Pink Slips game. All right, guys, first play of the game. He's moving his line out, and he's pretty much running right through. Good play. Good defensive play there. Um, that was good users by him. He knows kind of – I think he roughly knows kind of what I like to do with the ball. So this could be an interesting game to see if he can try and stop me. Trying to run the ball again here. Got some decent blocking this time. Jeremy Hill breaks through, and we pick up the first down. Nice pick up there by Jeremy Hill. This is the first time, this is actually the first time that I've used Jeremy Hill. Um, I just opened it in a pack the other day, or uh, I guess last night. So hopefully uh, he does pretty well for me in this one. We'll see though. And we just get sacked immediately. Immediately. Oh my goodness. He came off the edge completely untouched, my friends. Completely untouched. We're going to continue to try and run the ball here. Got some decent blocking here. And Calvin makes a nice tackle. I should have been able to break through that, but um, just didn't. All right, here we go, guys. Third and three. Got Irvin. Oh, he made the stop, though. Wow, he stepped right up and made that play. It's going to set up a fourth and three. I'm at my own 38. You know what? I am just going to punt here. I'm going to play somewhat sim style in this game. Gosh, that freaking blitz, man. Just can't. It's just coming off the edge completely untouched. He's going to run the ball here, and he's got good blocking. But we are able to make the tackle after a gain of, I think, three. Another run here, I think. Good run, man. He's doing a good job running the ball so far. Oh, shit. Hit him, Pat Pete. Oh, he got the completion, though. Good pass. Good pass. Gosh, he's running very, very effectively right now. Second and three after a good run there on first down. He's going to run again. And, man, he is just getting crazy good blocking. Where was my blocking on my first drive? Gonna pass here. Pat Pete! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Unreal, man! Oh my gosh! Why does that stuff happen to me? Why? Just why? Good pass there. And he's able to pick up the first down, a big gain, and he's pretty much gonna get into the end zone here, man. Jeez. I am struggling right now on defense. Hit him. Thank you. There we go. Aaron Donald comes up with a big sack. This is a big stop here. He's going to try and run. And he's not going to quite pick it up. So 
Wonder if he's going to go for three here. Nope, he is going to try and keep the ball here. Uh, he's going to try and go for a touchdown here. And he didn't get it. Let's go. Who was that? Joe Hayden broke up the pass. Big, big play. He tried to throw that slant again. It did not work out for him. So hopefully we can do something here on offense. Struggled on our first drive. There you go, Gronk. Good catch. Get us out of that. Get us out of the end zone. And we pick up the big pass there to Brandon Marshall over the middle. Tried to make him think that I was going to go short there, but we did end up going over the top. Oh, why did you step out of bounds? Good pass, though. I mean, at least we picked up uh, good yardage, but that could have been even bigger if Peyton wouldn't have thrown that out of bounds. Third and three. We got Gronk. There we go. Get out of bounds. Don't you fumble, Gronk. Nope. Just completely off the end, undefended. But Jeremy Hill gets the spin move and breaks away. Look at that beast. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Jeremy Hill. He keeps running that that uh, blitz off that edge. Oh, God. Got some blocking. Get in there, Jeremy Hill. Get in that end zone, buddy. Oh, man. Really good run there by Jeremy Hill, though. That should put us in good position here to potentially go up a touchdown. Peyton gets into the end zone. So we are up 6 to nothing. We're going to kick the extra point to go up 7 0. Um, very good drive there. We started at our own like three yard line. So that was, a, I think, a 97 yard touchdown drive. Feeling pretty good about that to leave him with 40 seconds left before the end of the half. Pretty much just got to stop the deep ball at this point. Get it, Crow. That a boy, Antonio Cromartie. That a boy. Good interception. Let's go. Now I'm in position potentially to uh, get a field goal here if I can put some uh, yardage out here on the field. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, God. I threw that just terribly. I threw that just terribly. Good play. Good play. I knew I was going to mess that up. I knew I was going to mess that up, man. I just knew it. There we go. Got another interception at least. All right. Decent enough. We're not going to get out of this half uh, down anything at least. So um, I'm just going to run the ball here. Run out the half. Smack him. Let's go, baby. And of course, holy crap, two forced fumbles on one play though. And Keekly comes up with it. Smashed his ass with Earl Thomas. Let's go. Smashed him. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just watched the play again on replay. That was huge. Dude, holy shit. His guys are just coming through unfucking defended. I don't even know what to say about that. Good lord. Oh my god. All right, second and 10. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Get it, Gronk. Pick up that first down. Fight. Fight, damn it. I don't think he picked it up. Now we got a fourth and one now. What the hell are we going to do? <sighs> I could take my points, but like I feel like I kind of have to go for it here. It's just you kind of have to on any fourth and one situations. You know? Uh, really don't want to, but I'm going to go for it here. All right, fourth and one. Get it, Gronk. Hold on to it, baby. There we go. All right. As soon as I saw Calvin get that weird animation, I was like, yep, <laughs> we're going to him. Get those blocks. Get them. Get in there, Jeremy Hill. All right, decent gain, though. Trying to get him off guard, and we did. We get into the end zone with Jeremy Hill on that one. So that's going to put us up two scores. Feeling pretty good about that now. I think we're in pretty good situation. Um, 
all we really need to do is make sure that he doesn't put up too many touchdowns here at the end of the game. So um, I can play a little bit uh, conservatively on defense. I don't have to be very aggressive. Just got to try and make sure that he doesn't get all the way down the field in a couple plays. Smash. Oh, Hayden just laid the smack down on somebody's ass. Oh, my gosh. I even put Aaron Donald on a spy right there, and he still just runs right through it. There we go. There it is. Damakong Su with the big sack. Oh, my God. I thought he was breaking that tackle. Oh, Keekly. We need a pick there, man. Definitely going to be passing. Got it. Got him, coach. Let's go. Jack Ham with the interception. Woo! Feeling good about that one. I knew for sure that he wanted to go to the tight end there. I just, I was feeling it. As soon as that route came out, I felt, felt good about my chances. Oh, that back juke, though. That juke, though. All right, second and three. He just freaking committed on the run there. To the wrong side, though, I think. Jeremy Hill breaking loose. Look at him go. Picking up big yardage there. He's over 100 now after that one. Big play by Jeremy Hill. Good enough. Run out some more clock here. He's trying so hard to jump the snap. Oh, man. He's trying so hard to face catch on me, and it's just not happening. He straight up ran Hail Mary on that play. Probably going to be another streak here, I imagine. Yep. Hail Mary. I'm trying to intercept this with Keekly. We get the interception. It is Calvin Johnson. Free safety. Calvin Johnson, the GOAT, if you will. Getting that interception. Computer controlled. I will take it. Why not? Why not let it fly Alshon Jeffrey against that field goal block cheese? So, guys, that is going to do it for this game. Uh, we are going to walk away with the W in this one. 17-0. Um, did a pretty good job on, on this game for the most part. Um, there were a couple times where I struggled. I got sacked. Uh, the running game wasn't working in the first half, but it definitely took over in the second half. And we were able to, to uh, pretty effectively run out the clock there toward the end of the game. So a 17 to nothing victory. Not a huge blowout win, but um, convincing enough in my opinion, I guess. Um, he played pretty well, all things considered, a much lower overall team than what I have, so he was at a significant disadvantage as far as that goes, but um, he played pretty well in this one. Got kind of the raw end of the deal as far as some interceptions. He got picked, I don't know, four times in that game, so um, I mean, that usually doesn't happen for me if you guys watch my channel. That, that doesn't happen very often, so um, I, I got some more interceptions than what usually happens for me, so I think that was really the big difference maker here in this game as far as on the field goes, so um, good game by my opponent. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did and you're new to the channel and you're watching over on Twitch, be sure to hit that follow button below. If you guys are watching this after the fact over on YouTube, be sure to hit subscribe and also like this video if you would so that you can, guys can get some more Pink Slips games. Um, and uh, that gives me just a little bit more motivation when we've got all those likes. So thank you guys so much again. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.